I think uh, Constellium is number one in some areas of the aluminium business, and I think the key challenges are to protect that position. To do that, I think, requires greater reliance on innovation, new ideas, the best people, the best decision-making processes, and uh, the best collaborations. Uh, you can't do everything, so we have to understand which bits should Constellium be doing, which bits should be done through partnership, and making sure that that operates to the highest standards and to the best efficiency. Uh, challenge, some of the things which may seem obvious internally, to bring an external perspective and just, just challenge some of those ideas. Uh, I also see my role as learning a lot. Uh, I think it's as much about listening as it is about speaking, so I'm looking forward to learning more about Constellium, meeting the key scientists, the engineers, the people working in the plants, really understanding how the company works, and, uh, and then trying to add some valuable advice, not everywhere, but in those bits where I think it's important and where I can bring my expertise. My specific role is probably as the role of any member of the council, which to be open-minded, to try to understand what people are doing and try to suggest uh, opportunities from what is going on outside of the, of the company. So I think it's a, it's a sort of open window to the outside world. That would be my viewpoint of uh, any scientific council. I think uh, that what you could contribute to is uh, uh, the um, to contribute to the strategic evolution uh, in aluminum technology and uh, to give the, some advice uh, where Concelum could uh, develop uh, competences and capacities in the next decades. I think we see that uh, the next generations of airplanes will. Basically, the fuselage will be made of aluminum alloys, uh, not of uh, CFRP. Uh, that means uh, fiber reinforced uh, polymers. And uh, so I think it could be a market uh, for Constellium for the next years. But I think uh, CFRP will make its way. And uh, so we have to take care about the competitiveness of aluminum technologies in the next decades. I am very excited with to joining this uh, Constellium uh, Scientific Council. You know, I, probably I can contribute some for the future uh, the extension of the Constellium uh, 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 research and development area. I've been involved in the material property strengths and fatigue, so the, my experience can be also be useful for the aircraft uh, sectors, but uh, for the last 10 years I have been involved in the hydrogen technology, energy. Science has um, a very big uh, focus on uh, relating structure at the nanoscale with properties. Now, in metallurgy, uh, structure has been related to properties through the centuries, and in any metal as well as in aluminum. Now what uh, aluminum can do with nanoscience is to develop new properties that are due to structure at the nanoscience. For example, these uh, self-cleaning uh, surfaces that Constellium is doing for solar panels uh, or high reflective surfaces that Constellium is doing or all forms of functional surfaces are things where uh, Constellium is innovating and is innovating also through nanoscience. If one looks at the lotus leaf, it's a marvel of nature because it's a, a, a leaf that typically is in ponds that are places where you have dirty water, but yet the leaf is always clean uh, as well as it's always dry. Now that happens because of a nanostructure, because the structure of the surface is such that it traps air. And so when water drops onto the leaf, it forms round balls and these rounded uh, balls roll and rolling away they clean the leaf. So the leaf stays clean and stays dry. Now that is something that now can be engineered in materials, on the surface of materials, among, and Constellium is also doing that.